Hi there, everybody. Karen Roby here with Chris Matizic of ZDNet, and we're talking today about AirPods. You know, everywhere you go, it seems, Chris, uh, somebody's got AirPods dangling out of their ears. They are certainly convenient, you know, uh, exercising or just out for a walk. It's so nice not to have the cords hanging down. Um, so you did an article, though, that was pretty interesting um, in, in an interesting survey that we're going to talk about here. I'm just going to let you take off from there. Tell us what you found. Wow, this was so fascinating. I'm, it almost made me want to buy AirPods myself. And when I say <laughs> almost, I mean it didn't. Um, essentially, an events management company or an event ticket company decided that it would try and discover things about human beings that related between music and technology. And what, the, what they discovered, I'm sorry, and music, technology, and sex. I almost missed out the word sex. It's such a sort of sensitive word these days. So essentially what they found was that people who love country music are the most happy with their sex lives. And you should conclude why that might be. However, people who listen to pop music are the most unhappy with their sex lives. And people who listen to electronic dance music are the greatest sexual fetishists. But even more importantly than that, they asked a vital question. Do you wear your AirPods while you're having sex? This is not something I confess I'd ever considered before. Perhaps others have. Clearly, they do because 17% confessed in this survey that they actually keep their AirPods on. Now, the surveyors thought, try to work out why this might be, and one suggestion they made is that the two people involved in the, the sexual act wanted to listen to different types of music. They had different tastes. And so for them, in order to enhance the joy of their union, um, they would listen to different types of music during sex, which is kind of strange, really. Yeah, of all, the, of all the things, Chris, you know, that you think that we would do surveys on and question people about their habits and how they, you know, are integrating uh, technology into their everyday lives, we certainly wouldn't have thought about it in the bedroom, but hey, someone is thinking about it and someone's obviously doing it. AirPods are very convenient, as, as we talked about there at the beginning. Um, but you also, in your article, talked a little bit about the end, about how this can get a little bit ugly too. You know, you leave one behind or something like that. I mean, it just brings up a lot of questions. Well, AirPods are sort of dangerous things. You know, people, I don't know if you've noticed, but people actually wear them all the time now. I suspect quite a few people don't merely have sex wearing them, but actually sleep wearing them. Um, I was once in an AT&T store not so long ago, and a, a woman was talking to me, talking to me, a salesperson, and then suddenly I realized she actually had an, one AirPod, one single AirPod in her ear. And I said to her, are you listening to music right now? She said, yeah, 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 I can only work if I have my own tunes playing in my head. And I suppose that's what technology's done to us. It's tried to force us into having our own tunes being played into our heads all the time. And of course, because AirPods are smaller, more discreet, people think it's now much more socially acceptable to wear them all the time. Because of course, if you were having sex with great big cables hanging down from your ears, you know, that, that would sort of spoil the moment, I suspect, for a lot of people. But, you know, AirPods basically look like earrings that went wrong, yet people feel they have permission. It's a kind of social permission thing. It's like once upon a time, people said the notch on the iPhone would be the worst thing ever created. And now it's the new normal. Everyone puts a notch on their iPhone. And the same thing, everyone seems to think that they can wear their AirPods all the time. I'm sure people wear them in meetings. I'm sure they play music as the CEO is telling them that they haven't met their sales figures. And maybe that's their way of psychologically getting through the day, but it's kind of disturbing visually. I'm, I, don't, I don't like the look. I don't find AirPods aesthetically pleasing. I don't know about you. Maybe you find them incredibly gorgeous. <laughs> No, no, I find them quite annoying. You know, my kids will have them in all the time. I mean, and that's the generation now coming up thinking that that is the norm, that no matter what they're doing, that they're going to have them uh, in their ears and I'm trying to talk to them and they're actually listening to something else. But I, I do like that you call them earrings gone wrong or however it was you stated it. That's that's a really cute way to, to, to say it. Now, I do think the bigger conversation, though, is 
you know, what, what is still acceptable and, and is it acceptable for someone to be helping you out in a store, but she's got an AirPod in and, and possibly listening to a phone call or a, or just music or, you know, who knows what she's listening to, but is that okay? Where does that all end? Well, I don't think it does end because, of course, technology is trying to take us over entirely. It doesn't end. We've given technology permission to do all these things. We think it's now acceptable to go to dinner and each of us, a date, imagine, but each of us are staring at our phones. Each of us are taking our own Instagram pictures because each of us has our own Instagram accounts. And if we don't get at least 30 likes from each of our pictures of the same steak and kidney pie we're eating, then this will just cascade shame upon us and we won't be able to look ourselves in the mirror the next day. It does not stop. This will not stop. And, you know, ultimately, um, this is who we're going to be. We're going to have badly made earrings hanging from us all. And that's the way we'll end up communicating with each other, even in meetings. Yeah, that's kind of a scary thought. Uh, you know, Chris, it's always a good conversation with you. I didn't think that we'd ever be talking about AirPods and in the bedroom, but you never know. And these studies that you stumble upon, it always brings up great conversation. You, you made it sound like we're in the bedroom. We're not in the bedroom. <laughs> you are in the studio, Karen. Come on. That's right. You are, you are millions, not millions, a lot of miles away from where we are right here. Uh, all right. Well, Chris, I know you've got that full report and in, in, in your story there on ZDNet. So we appreciate your interesting insight on this. And you can find all of that again on ZDNet.